Well, tonight we're hearing from the young victim of a bizarre and brutal attack. The weapon, a can of hairspray and a lighter. CBS 2's Dana Kozloff reports from Plainfield. Robin Kate, Plainfield police chief, says this is a new one, but they're taking it seriously because the young victim is proof that this stunt can be dangerous. Julie Johnson is careful not to aggravate the severe second degree burns on her son's arm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Two days after 14 year old Sean Johnson was torched with hairspray and a lighter, the burns are healing slowly. All I heard was like the sound of like the, like the blow torch basically and it went like all over my arm. It happened Saturday afternoon. Johnson and his friend Caleb Fleming were walking through Plainfield's West Norman Greenway when they say three blonde teenage boys were literally playing with fire and challenged them to a dare. It's like who could last longer if they reached their hand by the fire? I mean, we didn't say anything. We just kept on walking. They walked about 100 yards. And that's when they say the three came up behind them and lit the makeshift blowtorch. Do you think they meant to hurt Sean? No, I think that they were just trying to like scare him. And then they didn't think that it was going to be like that bad. It's something very unusual. It's nothing we've ever seen here in Plainfield. But Plainfield's police chief says they'll be keeping watch for similar incidents while they look for the teens who hurt Sean. I would like um, for the kids that did this to, you know, be punished and, and understand how bad it is. So does her son. But I mean, I kind of feel bad for them because they have to live with that for the rest of their lives. Chief John Conopec says now that school is back in session, officers will be listening for names and information of those involved in hopes that they catch them. In Plainfield,